everyone um just gonna make this video uh, sort of demonstrate the nutrition facts labels plugin which we've recently uh, released here i have in front of me the nutrition facts label uh, generation page uh, basically after installing you know uh, the plugin um, you get presented uh, with a left hand uh, admin menu uh, with two features which we will be going through uh, the first of them is the nutrition facts label generator um, basically all you need to do is uh, um, provide um, an ingredient list um, this I've already pre-copied from one of our recipes um, so here we've got a list of uh, recipes Oh, sorry a list of ingredients and all we need to do at this point is to click generate label and this actually goes out to our API which then runs um, a couple of algorithms um, which actually then searches and applies FDA rules um, for each of these ingredients and then comes up with a sum total of what uh, it is oh, yeah so here we already we've gotten feedback from our apis uh, then you know sort of gives us you know the daily values and also the quantities respectively we're still working on the algorithms they're not perfect yet uh, there are some edge cases that need to be covered which we we hope you know, very very soon in a short in no distant time we will be um, releasing another um, updated version um, so there are two ways actually um, to actually use the nutrition label um, and that is true uh, the WordPress short codes are uh, basically uh, just simply generating and downloading the uh, nutrition facts label so basically uh, we get one like this here which is just literally the same um, as what we've generated previously um, so for websites that already have existing recipes we already have this update recipes facility which basically um, goes through each of your recipes and consequently you know in, in, to, to and then you know sends your ingredients um, out uh, sends them to our servers and then you know sort of receives feedback use this update recipe facility um, just simply cl click go and this uh, then you know selects all your recipes and then runs you know gets the ingredient information and then sends that to our servers and then you know gets you feedback right now we're doing this on a demo um, recipe uh, demo recipe uh, platform uh, but yeah so it's going to be similar you may have more or you know more recipes than the 16 total here it provides you with this debug information which very soon you would see how it actually looks at so we've got one successful feedback back it takes a while though because you know it depends on the volume of your ingredient you know how large your ingredient list is um so then figures out and then does a select for each one and then comes back with the with the details so we'll just wait and just see how this actually goes and then you can kind of see how it's finally uh, has finished um updating all the recipes as you can see here it it's gone through all and 15 <clears throat> We're successful. Only one was successful. Uh, we've actually done this in a way to kind of um, demonstrate um, how it actually works. So it gives you feedback, and then gives you a link to uh, the recipe. So probably you may have listed it maybe wrongly, or you know, there's some 
form you know in your text that's actually wrong that has confused us or confused the the back end services um so that way you know it will actually return a 500 or a 400 or a 404 uh, depending and then you know just literally um just trying to saying probably the server is down or you know there's something wrong with your ingredient listing or there's an error somewhere so that's part of the reasons why you have you get this um, but from your side we advise that you kind of look at your ingredient list make sure that each ingredient uh, or each ingredient is actually listed line by line you know uh, with the quantity first and then the name of the ingredient quantity first the name of the ingredient maybe a cup of rice um, or, and then or say um, half a kilo of something yeah you know. um, so yeah that's how it works um, there's also a, bot, um, a link here which kind of allows you to kind of uh, retry just in case if the server is made the network was busy or something was going went wrong uh, you can just click that and it will retry just the ones that failed so that's basically how it works um, thank you so much for um, spending this time to kind of go through uh, this with me and um, we look forward to your questions hit us an email at uh, we at globalfoodbook.com and uh, just uh, a quick one about you know um, if you're a nutritionist listening to this and you would like to be part of this and help us improve um, giving us feedback on areas that we probably haven't spotted um, in terms of ingredients you know and all that probably uh, being mismatched somewhere uh, you're getting the old errors please do give us a shout at we at globalfoodbook.com we at globalfoodbook.com and we will be very happy to kind of help you uh, uh, take on your feedback and uh, yeah let's see how we can work together thank you so much